So last week I decided to finish up the patching and sanding. The corner received the same treatment because there was a little gap between both walls. And I figured since I had the wall exposed I'd go ahead and knock that out. Aside from that, I went ahead and pre-cut the studs for the fake wall and gave each stud the pocket hole treatment. Look how watery that paint is. Yeah, I probably didn't mix it too well. I did get an attachment for my drill and mixed it more thoroughly and switched to a larger roller. I mean, who knew? Painting with a larger roller is just easier. Man, I should have gone for the jumbo roller. Next time. Next time. That's basically what has to happen over there.
Okay, so that concludes part two. Um, so a couple of things that I did is, um, you saw that I put this plastic piece on the bottom, the longer piece, of course. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna go this route with one of these or uh, use actual paper. So the good thing about the paper is when I apply it, it's not gonna jut out on the, on the bottom. One thing I noticed with this is once this is in place, it kind of flares out, meaning that when I use the joint compound, um, it's gonna be a bump on there, and that's gonna go all the way around for the two areas and around the door and everything. At least with the paper, it'll be nice and smooth. So let me know in the comments if I should go with this plastic or if paper's gonna suffice. And then on top of that, I'll also get uh, some more finished wood, like maybe a veneer or something that would go and sit around, you know, all the uh, the interior parts. So that's that. Uh, what else? What else? Next episode, I'm going to work on the actual uh, case part that goes here. That'll be the, the lights that go around the entrance that you saw in the animation. So that's what's next. And I'm also going to work on the uh, the display or the cover that's going to go in front of the display. So you saw this before. This was what uh, the picture, the static image was in. I cut it in half and it should look like that. And then obviously this will be covered, you know, all around and this will be the only part that you actually see. This is going to be a template because I'm going to make a little bit better looking one. But that's basically what's going to happen. So you will have the action happening in here. And I'm thinking I'll have all this covered except for a few little cutouts here and there on the top and the bottom. That way I can simulate like radars and different displays and everything. And I think for the top, I want to have this type of display up top. So picture this kind of just in the screen and then this type of treatment, this face also on top of this and the whole bracket that goes on there. So that's one design I'm going to have. The second, which I'm really excited about, uh, don't fall. Um, so you know the Emperor's throne room, right? What I'm thinking is doing that window that he has in front. So I noticed that the window kind of cuts off at the bottoms. So what I could do is uh, have it start here and kind of radiate out. So it basically would cover this much of the screen. And then you have your parts that go out from there. That way it makes a, a bigger, bigger focal point, bigger display. So that way I can swap between the original idea and that idea anytime I want to. So that's coming up. So that and the entrance, that'll come up next. So if you like what you've seen so far, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I make a new episode. And of course, thanks for watching.